yourself yet? No. It was a little scary though because we did a power off call. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting it, but then you know we're going up, we're still holding the line. And we just kind of spooked me at first. But um, after we did it a couple of times, it's like a little bit closer. Yeah, they showed you how to get out of the spin yet. We haven't done that. But I'm dreading that though because that's terrifying. <laughs> So he has taken you through the, the drop off, oh, yeah. taken it all the way to the drop off. Oh, the fact that he, the oh, important yeah. thing is to oh, keep that left wing from dipping down, or right wing from dipping down. Mm -hmm. Going to his bed. Yeah. A couple of weekends where they've had uh, runway management, like close yeah. to the airport. Mm -hmm. He's getting ready to go on a weekend, like so well. You know, it could, blue skies, everything looked perfect. Well, the winds were, yeah. you know, like beautiful yeah. flies. So, like, like you said, he's, he's been up quite a few, but he could have been up a lot, a lot more than he, than he has. But you have to yeah, watch the weather and you know, watch everything else. For Especially because I'm so early on, they won't even let me go with like a five knot crosswind. Yeah. So it's like they're like, if there's, there has to be no wind for us. Once you get up there and fight the wind, you'll understand why. <laughs> Especially if there's any kind of a crosswind. You know, a tailwind or a nose wind is not bad, depending, you know, as long as it's in line with a runway. So if you get some kind of a crosswind, then you learn how to cram landing. So you're yeah, just instead of going straight in the airplane. Which that is sketchy. That, I don't know like that. Because as soon as you touch down, if you don't straighten it up, everybody goes straight on into the grass, and it's like, mm. sketch. So all the touchdowns are nice and perfect and smooth so far, right? We had one, um, and it was a, it was a crowd where it hit, and it kind of, we were like coming in, and it hit and jolted it, and the instructor jolted it right back. And that was sketch because like we touched down and we immediately just went sun almost like got thrown into our seats and it was I mean we still landed so I mean it worked but <laughs> you know, good landing is a good <laughs> and look at landings you know and you see some wild there, there's a, a couple of them seen where uh, there's like a like a 737 or something like that and the guy you know, you guys not, no way in the world is going to be a plan. It's a major crab to get down. And it, it looks like when you get down, the airplane is going to go flipping off the runway. It's amazing. The airplane will take a lot of, take a lot of damage, take a lot of grief, you know, getting down. It's crazy. Small airplanes is one thing. It's watching the big ones do that. You think that women on two, there's like 300 people in there, and that guy in front of her lost a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> They've got thousands and thousands of hours of doing it, so it's almost like second nature. So how old is your instructor? Well, because she was the same instructor all the time. I could use, but she actually just yeah, she, Leanne just moved to Oklahoma, so now she thought I. Oh no! Yeah, that was that was her favorite though. Yeah, uh, she was probably. Oh, you got a girl for us. All right. Thank you. <laughs> South American, she had a South, South African. South African. Really? Accent, which was yeah. really kind of interesting to hear, you know. Yeah. But then also some of the other instructors are like in their late 20s and they're just there to try to build up their hours. Um, and they're definitely a lot more. I think they're better because I mean, they're more relatable because they're a lot younger. So they, like we're just having conversations and everything. They're like, so how's school? And I'm like, high school. <laughs> There's not really much to talk about that, but... When you it's graduate June, right? Is it May here or June? May. Uh, May. <laughs> so I'm on the south. Oof. He'll graduate high school and Lauren will graduate college. Yeah. Two down, well, one down, <laughs> major league. One cost a lot. Well, then yeah. they got one other thing. <laughs> Dinner tonight later on with a young lady who graduated from his maternal. Yeah. No, not from my kind. Maternal, 130,000. Jeez. Now she's down to like 40, but even so, you know, that's what we're going to be next week. They had uh, one of their buildings up in McKinney, and it recently got baked. 
shut it down because there wasn't enough kids coming up there to try to go to school because I think Laterno's down at Longview. Is Laterno's in Longview, Longview right? Yeah, at least that's where we're driving to the world. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice campus. I've been there quite a few times, but uh, they just recently closed down their office up at McKinney. Uh, so they didn't close down McKinney? Yeah, they closed down the one at McKinney. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I probably wouldn't go to Laterno anyway, because that's just too expensive. Yeah. Well, I advise people, you know, in my educational world, if you can go to community college and get what you need for community college, do it. Because, I'm sorry, but you're white Anglo-Saxon, you know, the chances that you get the scholarship are almost zero to nothing unless you've got a sports scholarship or you have an outstanding talent. Yeah. I mean, so, that's what I thought about doing is just going to college for two years, getting all the basics and everything else. And you can live at home a whole lot cheaper than you can live on campus. I never actually knew I like I didn't have too much of a Yeah, you can go out of North Carolina and, and, and oh, I'll see what I'll be able to do. 